Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen. Welcome. It is that time again where I give you guys my monthly palette review. So if you want to see all the palettes I use for the month of February and hear my thoughts about them, then keep watching. So if you guys are new to my channel or miss last month's video, I'll have it linked down below. But basically, I have come to the conclusion that I have entirely too many palettes, so I wrote them all down in a Excel spreadsheet, and every Sunday I go in and go on a random number generator on Google and pick out a random palette just so I could, one, use all my palettes because I feel like there's just some I just don't use, and two, I'm kind of just trying to clean up my collection essentially because I just have so many palettes so that is what i'm doing so i will have last month's video linked down below so you guys can see what i use for the month of january also if i get a palette in like an ipsy bag or i buy a new palette i'm using it for that month and i will obviously tell you guys but i'm just doing this to like i said clean up my collection see what i like see what i don't like and also to help you guys out if you guys are in the market for any palettes also please know palette judgment because one of these palettes is old. First palette I used for the month is the Urban Decay Naked Foxy palette. Now I know a lot of people are over the Urban Decay Naked thing. I am still a sucker for the Urban Decay Naked thing. When they came out with these new mini palettes, I bought two. Um, I bought the two that I would use the most. Actually, uh, one was I would definitely use the most. My sister actually picked this one out because she liked hot stuff, this like yellowy shade. She loves yellow, so. But I was also like, I don't hate this choice because I love this palette. And I just do. I love this palette. I think these are perfect travel palettes because they are so small. And you can create a lot of looks with these eyeshadow palettes i don't want to hear it you can do day and night palette or day and night looks so easily with these i love them they are a little more on the expensive side but i just i love urban decay they are one of my favorite brands next i use the ColourPop chasing rainbows palette if you go back to probably one of my first ColourPop hauls ever i think this is when i got this palette and i think i got it as a free gift because i spent x amount of dollars and I was so excited to get it. And I filmed a lot of tutorials with this too. So if you search on my channel and want to see tutorials, go right ahead. But I don't know. I guess obviously like my style and I have changed over the years. I got this forever ago when it first came out. So this is this is the palette I'm telling you not to judge me because it is older. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I just... I was so inspired by it and I think it's because I don't want to make my makeup too crazy and colorful for work but I was just so uninspired when I used it and these two shades bring it in on one the two really pretty blue shades were fallout city and I don't remember them having so much fallout but I still love like the purple like keep it cool I think it's really pretty I don't know this palette was just so uninspiring to me and i don't know if i'm just over it i don't i don't know and it's like do i save it for nostalgia purposes it's like i, I don't know what to do but i almost want to depot it because i really like the shade lucid right here it's probably one of my favorite shades and that's really like an eclipse i love eclipse it's such a gorgeous like taupe but I don't know, I was just so inspired and was having the hardest time using this palette. And you'd think it'd be this one giving me the hard time. No, it was this one. Next up is a palette I got in my Ipsy bag for February and it is the Trace Luce La Flor de Mexico palette. I'm apologizing now if I completely butchered the name, but this palette is gorgeous. First of all, the packaging, I absolutely love the packaging. I think it is so pretty. And I just love this blue. I feel like I didn't give this palette the love that it deserved because I didn't use it as much as the other ones because I didn't do five get ready with me's. I only did four get ready with me's with it. But I loved it. I love just the neutrals and the greens. And the greens are still pretty neutral because they're on that more olivey side. I just love this palette. The shimmer shades were phenomenal. 
I really really like them whenever I use any type of shimmery shade I always put down a glitter glue I like the NYX one and I think I used one of them as almost like a topper without the glitter glue and my makeup just looked so so pretty i love this palette and last up i use the not a box of chocolates palette from ColourPop. if you know me you know i'm a neutral girl and when i saw this i ordered it right away the day it dropped i ordered it i think i was at work when i ordered it because that's how badly i needed and wanted this palette i think it is gorgeous i love all the shades it's amazing. I have nothing bad to say about this at all. It's ColourPop. I love ColourPop eyeshadows. This is just, it's a great staple to have in your collection because it's all neutral shades. You got a good selection of mattes and you have a good selection of shimmer shades. I think I just, I have nothing bad to say about this. I just love it so, so much. These two palettes, in my opinion, are the perfect palette because I love a good bronzy smoky eye and both of these you can create a good bronzy smoky eye so perfect palettes in my opinion if you do not have this and you love neutral shadows you need it it is so so good and those are all the palettes that i used for the month of february let me know in the comments down below what eyeshadow palettes you've used in the past month i would love to hear what you guys have been using if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel for more videos make sure you're following me on all my social media that's always linked down below in the description box and that is all i have to say so i'll see you guys next time bye